Hello again. If you followed my uh, channel, you'll know that I'm a sucker for Greek myth retellings. So this one, when I saw the Ark, it was one I had to pick up. Um, and I got the Ark from Ned Galley and it's Clytemestra by Constanza Cassati. And it comes out on the 2nd of March. And it's, as I said, it's another Greek myth retelling. Even though we know the stories of all these myths, I always pick them up, uh, these retellings up, because I'm always intrigued to see how different authors breathe life into these characters that we know from childhood, from the stories that we told as we're growing up. This one, Clytemnestra, the evil queen who murders her husband when he returns from the Trojan War. We, we know who she is, you know, sort of wife, murderer. And here we have the woman behind the story. As a, we see her from childhood and as a Spartan princess, she was taught to fight. She was taught to fight, um, to be a warrior almost. She's strong. She's fearless. Um, she's almost as strong as her brothers, which is why... When Agamemnon um, goes to visit her father in Sparta, um, he immediately notices her. Even though she's married and has got a baby son, he's determined to have her. And so he murders her husband and son and she has no choice but to become his wife. And then she spends her married life plotting her revenge and it is more than a murderous wife she you understand why she wants revenge on her husband and you feel for her the things she goes through What I liked about this is in the stories of the Trojan War, usually Helen is the focus. Helen, who was whisked away by Paris, the face that launched a thousand ships. It's normally Helen that the spotlight is on. But here, Clytemnestra takes centre stage. And her unbending resolve to take revenge on her husband is superbly shown. The meticulous care that she takes so that she is in a position when she is able to take revenge. However, even though she is a strong character, men still have the power because even though she's this strong woman, she is forced to marry Agamemnon by her father. She is forced to submit to his beatings and everything else that he does. So she might be this strong queen, but she it's still the males that have the the um hold the sway. And yes, as we come to the end, her revenge is as it as the saying goes, it's a dish that is served icily cold. A superb retelling. I really enjoyed this one. And I liked seeing Clytemestra take centre stage for a change. So that is um, that one. It comes out in March. So if, like me, you love your Greek retellings, pick this one up. So happy reading. Take care.